What's up, fams? We got to talk about this. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that sub button and shout out to my gang, gang, gang. Now, get your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets. Now, everyone sit back. I got a lot to explain to you guys, man. We got to break this down because everyone is wondering what the hell is racketeering? Did 6 9 bust some dude over the head with a goddamn tennis racket, okay? We got to explain it. Now, by now, you guys should know 6 9 has been arrested, right? And I feel like I've been one of the few people, if not the one person, letting you guys know this was going to happen. When they found the gun, I told you guys. When we saw the alleged video of him and Shadi busting at somebody, I told you the feds were on them. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. That's what I do every time. Anybody else in the business, Karen? No, it's just me. I deal with harassment every time I'm in New York, every time I'm in the city. Yo, I swear to God, I know I'm going to court. I know I'm going to court. I know I'm, I'm, I'm facing prison time. I know I'm doing this. But every chance they get, it's like, if they catch me slipping this much, it's like, let's, they don't really got nothing on, I don't want to say too much, but I want to broadcast to the world. That's every time, every any chance they get, they want me to go to jail as quick as possible. You good? I'm good now? You good? Dick rotting. That's the fact, bro. That's the fact. Now, 6 9 Shoddy, Crippy, and another gentleman have been arrested on racketeering. Some people are still wondering, what the hell is racketeering, right? You guys are like, yo, what is that? Now, if you watched documentaries on mobsters, right, the gangsters back in the day, you heard the word Rico before. You know what it is. Now, racketeering, right? And the short word for that is Rico, which is the Rico Act. That is something that was created to take down mob bosses. Now, back in the day, right? Crazy organized crime was going on. And you know what would happen? Mob bosses will go out, tell these lower people in the mob to go commit hits. There was a lot of extortion going on. People were being kidnapped. Pretty much the mob bosses were instructing these people to do different things. But guess what? Prosecutors were having a hard time taking down the mob boss. So they said, you know what? We need some laws in place. They then gained the ability to charge and take down the whole organization. Now, you guys have been hearing 6 9 say, Treyway, right? He's been saying that. Shoddy's been saying, Treyway, they've been claiming they were in the bloods. Even, 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 even. When 6 9 took his probation deal, he was told he couldn't say Treyway anymore, right? The feds, the FBI, they're looking at 6 9 and Shoddy as they are part of this criminal organization, which is Treyway. And guess what? The charge of racketeering is up to 20 years in jail, man. 20 years. Now, here's the thing. There's 35 crimes within the RICO Act. Just to name a few, we got gambling, murder, kidnapping, arson, drug dealing, bribery, mail and wire fraud, and the list continues on. Now, if the feds can prove that they committed two, just two out of those 35 crimes, then they have been convicted of Rico. Now, here's the thing, man. Don't you guys find it weird that out of nowhere, 6 9 does a Breakfast Club interview as he appeared to be upset with them last time? And out of nowhere, he does the interview, says that he fired everybody from his team. Man, people right now, and the word on the street from sources is that 6 9 has been talking to the feds all week. He knew the feds were coming. So guess what? He went on to the breakfast club and said, hey, I'm not with nobody. I, I ain't with this organization, Trey Wave. F Trey Wave. I fired everybody. But guess what? It's too late. It's too late. Don't you guys find that weird? The person that allegedly 
robbed him for his chains months ago. They get arrested by the feds days before he gets arrested by the feds. Don't you guys find that weird? That's a lot of weird stuff going on, man. More information is going to be revealed. Uh, it's crazy, man. Um, listen, if you're six nine, you punch in the air right now. You big man. What six nine told us in that interview was, "Hey, I'm afraid of two things: God and the feds." And guess what? He's praying to God right now because the feds have just arrested him on Rico. It's very unfortunate, man. 6ix9ine rose to where he did to right now to have his life in limbo is not good stuff, folks.